What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. I'm taking the Supra out today to go meet up with some friends. We're gonna go to a car show and I'm going to fire up the vlog because I haven't really just brought you guys along for a normal day in a while. Now the Supra is immaculate right now. It is so clean. I've also added a few more parts. So let's talk about that first. I've added some more carbon fiber pieces to the car because Armaspeed actually reached out and said, hey, we liked the video that you did of the intake install. What else do you need? So they were kind enough to send out some wind deflectors and these are so clutch. I have yet to make a video of like five things I love or hate about the Supra, but one thing that everyone talks about on every A90 Supra is the wind buffeting noise. If you're driving one of these with your windows down around like 40 or higher miles per hour, there's something here with the design that causes the wind to get sucked in and it creates that like helicopter noise that you remember as a kid. It's wind buffeting and it is super annoying to drive this car with the windows down. So. Armaspeed and a bunch of other companies make these little deflectors right here. I think these kind of look the best out of everything that I saw, just nice and simple. So as the wind comes over the car, it just goes boop and kind of pushes itself away from the window. That way you can drive as fast as you want with the windows down. Now coming around to the back of the car here, this is something that I was really not planning on adding, but Armaspeed was insisting. So here I have some rear canards, which honestly, I didn't like them at first, but they're kind of growing on me now because it's so subtle. I would not put these on a white or light color vehicle, but since everything like right here on the wrap is black, you don't even really notice it unless you like really take a close look at the car. So a little bit of aero functional stuff there, but it's really mainly for looks. Matches the Saibon wing very nicely. I did finally get the proper tips for my exhaust system. So these are the F16 style burnt titanium tips on there. This thing looks insane under here. And then one last piece, I have to pop the hood. So here's that Armaspeed cold air intake that I installed in like the stage one video. They also sent out these strut tower supports which are forged carbon and man, do they look good. I'm really not one to dress up the engine bay of a vehicle because, I mean, this isn't really a show car, although we're going to a car show today. I really bought this car as a daily driver and of course I like to modify things, so adding a little bit of stuff here and there. So while a lot of people think that these are just like engine bling, these actually are more functional than the stock ones that come on the A90. The carbon fiber is a little bit more rigid, just kind of keeping everything in alignment. That kind of ties in with all of the suspension modifications that I've done to this thing as well. So that's pretty much it. Now, check this out, it's kind of early in the morning. Since I do typically start my day kind of early, I didn't really like the cold start on this car after doing the downpipe and the full titanium exhaust. So I jumped into my tuning software the other day and I actually added to the tune a cold start noise reduction. So instead of the car coming up to a higher idle to warm up the catalytic converter and all the reasons that people say you should warm up a car, it kind of gets rid of that. So check this out. I'm gonna start it with the valves closed. Not too bad. So that is with the driver's door open, obviously, in a closed garage. It's really not that bad. Now previously, when I would cold start the car, if I did not close my door, it would basically blow out my eardrums. So that's a nice touch. I'm glad that I was able to do that through the tuning software. Now heading to a gas station to meet up with some friends. The weather today is not good for a car show. Oh great, it's literally raining right now. Well, let's see how this goes. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 
You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the back, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. My dreams. Here we are at a car show. Balls in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the video starts. <laughs> so we are out here at Adams Polish's Shine Fest and it is not very shiny. Some cool cars, but I feel like a lot of people were probably deterred because of the weather. There's people literally wiping their Mustangs off while it's still raining on top of them. Mike just hit a bunch of puddles on the way here to clean his GTR. <laughs> it's clean. Cleanest it's been in a week. It does look pretty clean. So we are both technically entered in the JDM section. Um, there's a lot of JDM cars around us. There's a, an SX over here and this guy next to me. So no shot of Mike or I winning anything, but that's not really why we're here. We're just kind of hanging out, checking out cars, supporting Adam since they're local. Jake's here. Saw. Jake wrapped all these cars, all the good ones. <laughs> all the good ones, yeah. The two best ones here. And Sam's entered in the Overland off. section. Yeah, Overland section. Yeah, the oh, three trucks gonna over win. there. Obviously, gonna <laughs> yeah, win. it's over there. It's the three stand. trucks over there. One of four. You, yeah. Sam, yeah. Josh. Yep. This is really just something to do during the day until we go for a little drive up into the mountains later. And Mike is hosting a Fast and Furious party in his new movie theater at his house. So, looking forward to that. If Mike or I win anything before this car show is over, I will let you guys know. Well, made it up to Mike's new house. We're having the Fast and the Furious watch party. Mike and I both lost because these are not show cars. Not building them, did not buy them to be show cars. Bought them to drive them. However, check out who won something. We've got registration 301. It's the Topo Wrap Taco. <laughs> yeah, Jake! <laughs> We got 268 to Robert Thompson. That's so crazy. Deep Wrangler. Oh, I should have used this. <laughs> Jake <laughs> won third place for the Overland off road vehicles. Where's your trophy? <laughs> It's in the back seat. You're not gonna carry it around and parade it around. <laughs> make a chain. You wanna give us a tour? What's going on out here? Uh, chillin', chillin'. My Traeger won't start up. Thanks, Jeez. Traeger. Should have got a Thanks camp for job. Nothing. <laughs> do you own cameras? I mean, we could we could do them. We could do them in the oven. Yeah, got a few. I got an oven as well. You can have any beer you want, uh, as long as it's a corona. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these don't work. So. Hey, the Traeger's broken. I'm having to use these primitive tools, okay? Just don't, don't put this on me. There's no smoke alarms when we're outside hey, cooking. Oh. Money. 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 Two. No Traeger, no problem. <laughs> he gave you a two. Who? Mike. <laughs> Screw you, man. I'm burning this house down. I'm like, I got a baby boy in here. Hey, it's where the magic happens. What? Get married here. Can't wait to hear this clip. Did you get a sub yet? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, uh, dude. All right, check it out. There's no way we're going to beat these guys straight up. That Hemi's putting out about 425. Hello again. 
Uh, it's a few days later and I forgot to kind of film an ending to this video. Went out and drove the Supra some more and it's now sitting at 2,500 miles. So I went to True Automotive this morning and we did a first premature oil change. I will probably be changing the oil in this car every 5,000 miles for anyone out there who cares. Since it is a performance car and I drive it the way that I do, it's better to be safe than sorry. So thing is not clean right now because of all the weather that we've been having, but fresh oil in here and I do have some more parts on the way. Nothing really performance or really super functional this time, but got a few more things to add to the Supra and I'm hoping I can find some time to get out to an autocross or a track day here sometime this summer. I don't really know though because I have a million other things going on, like the Ruckus right here. I actually took my Ruckus build over to True Automotive and the guys over there, especially Austin, helped me fix some things on this. So, so the electric start on this guy is back to working and I wired in a new tail light. Uh, brake light turns integrated in there. So kind of working on this thing today. And hopefully I can get all of this wiring stuff situated. And then maybe I'll bring you guys some ruckus or grom or husky or suron content here in the future. I only have about two weeks left at home until I need to hit the road again. So let me know what you guys want to see next. If you enjoyed this kind of day in the life style video, let me know. I'd be happy to make more. And we've got some cool trips coming up. So hopefully you guys are excited. That's all that I had for today. So if you're new here, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.